find what is the scope what is the scope of p11 and basically when we talk about scope this is scope for amount a right this is for amount a amount a scope so this says that scope for amount a which companies will be in scope are all mnes in scope no it says that those mnes those mnes whose annual turnover mnes with annual turnover annual turnover or revenue is greater than 20 billion euros mnes with mnes with annual turnover more than 20 billion euros only they will be in scope mnes in scope mnes right in scope mnes 20 billion euros okay 20 billion euros and this this uh, threshold of 20 billion euros this will be revised this will be revised and this will be brought down to 10 billion euros this will be revised and brought down to 10 billion euros but then this revision will take place after 7 years will take place after 7 years and then this revision will be completed in 1 year so effectively 8 years so after 8 years you can expect that yes the threshold for the mnes for the in scope mnes will be uh, reduced to 10 billion euros but as of now what is proposed is that the in scope mnes the mnes would be who would be required to pay this uh, amount a they uh, they have to have a minimum turnover of 20 billion euros right 20 billion euros and not only this turnover because ultimately what was what is the amount what is the quantum quantum is 25% of residual profit over 10% so if you find that they are having this 20 billion euro they are having more than 20 billion euro turnover and you would find that is why i took that is why i took revenue of 30 billion euros fine but if it was 30 billion euros here and the profit was only profit was only 3 billion euros not 4 billion euros so even in that case that case such an mne will not pay any amount it so you need to have two effectively two conditions should be met first of all the turnover condition and the second condition is that the result that the total profit should be in excess of 10% of the revenue is this point clear two thresholds that is profitability over 10% yes or no Yes, sir. Fine. So profitability over ten percent because only then you have residual over ten percent and twenty five percent of that over ten percent. Fine. So this is your in scope MNEs. Profit before tax. Fine. Right. Profit before tax. Profit before tax. That is ten percent of profit before tax. Okay. In scope. remember revised profit allocation and nexus rules so this is basically revised profit allocation you are allocating this 25% of the residual profit to market based jurisdiction so revised profit allocation fine but then revised profit allocation has to be made only on the basis of nexus and there is no physical nexus so there has to be some new nexus and that new nexus is special purpose nexus nexus second point that it mentioned is special purpose nexus special purpose nexus special purpose nexus special purpose nexus and the special purpose nexus okay the special purpose nexus is what it says i told you na that i gave an example that uh, supposing there is a jurisdiction t you have this mne and this mne is earning profit This is the parent entity of the MNE group, which is earning profit, and ultimately this condition is satisfied. This condition is satisfied, and ultimately this two fifty million, two uh, fifty million euros that we have seen here that have to be allocated, and then they have to be allocated to S, U, and R. So these are market based jurisdictions. These are market based jurisdictions. But then, how do you allocate? How do you share that two fifty million euros? in between s u and r so that is as per special purpose nexus they say this says that uh that country or that jurisdiction that market based jurisdiction in which the 
MNE in scope MNE has a minimum of one million euro of sale. Minimum one million euro sale. So this special purpose nexus ultimately that is also dependent upon sales. Get a point? They're not able to find out. They're not able to find out anything. Anything uh, concrete or substantially different from revenue. So they have created a nexus that is dependent upon sales and. They have, they have they have recrystallized by saying that this is a special purpose nexus okay fine otherwise in case of residence based jurisdiction we have a very clear cut domicile or place of residence or place of management and this leads to these are nexus factors so in this case they are not able to find any factor so they find they think that okay sales is the factor which in any case was the problem right so special purpose nexus is what minimum of 1 million euro sale in the jurisdiction of in scope mni minimum 1 million euro sale of uh, in for for in scope mni fine minimum 1 million euro sale but for those countries which are developing countries or least developed countries for those countries na this small countries small countries small nations for them this 1 million euro might be very high so for them it is just 0.25 million 0.25 million minimum for it for them it is 0.25 million euro that is 2 lakh 50 thousand euros of sale fine so this is the special purpose nexus so in scope scoping nexus special purpose nexus we move further and then you find amount quantum this is the quantum This is the quantum that we have already discussed. Twenty-five percent over ten. Twenty-five percent of residual profit over ten percent of revenue. Okay, right? and you have already seen how it is calculated. So ultimately, two fifty million had to be allocated. Fine. So scope, nexus, quantum. Okay, what else is there? You have revenue sourcing. How do you source the revenue? Source rules. Remember, source rules. so they say that uh, extensive source source rules have to be developed they will they will be gradually developed in due course of time but yes revenue sourcing rules have to be developed fine further tax based determination tax base will be determined of mne will be determined on the basis of financial accounting segmentation group whole whole uh, profit of the group as a whole segmentation not required fine okay One important point is twenty five percent of amount is ultimately what amount is sharing share of share of uh, deemed residual profit allocated to market based jurisdiction for in scope companies share of deemed residual profit allocated to market based jurisdiction on a formula like approach and that share is twenty five percent of residual profit over ten percent but it is quite possible supposing S S on the basis of this amount A S gets some amount that yes some amount from amount A some share of amount A would be allocated to S. But then these rules also say this uh, I mean OECD also says that it is also quite possible that country S might be already taxing the sales revenue from this M N E. on the basis of marketing and or distribution functions it would be already taxing that it might be already taxing that revenue so therefore if such a country is already taxing that revenue amount a revenue which is now being again allocated to it so now there would be a maximum limit to the allocation to such a country which is already taxing that amount and that limit will be decided by safe harbor safe harbor marketing and distribution profits safe harbor mdsh very very important fine come to page number um mm, come to page number 